Hello guys, in last video, we see how can we do the entire setup for live frame. If you not watch, just uh, I will put the link in our description, go through that and watch it. So in last video, we configure our MySQL DB with uh, the portlet Tomcat server. And after the server, when I just configure and when I just restart the server, there are some multiple tables are created in our db let's check that things go to your mysql go to your connection so last time we are using this training db see expand it go to the table section see so many table is created okay so today we will going to see how we can configure that db with this like a Tomcat server through property file. So before going to configure, there are two things we have to see. Okay. So go to your bundle location. Okay. There, there are two files. One is portal setup wizard file. One is portal ext file. So portal setup wizard is that file. When you just do the setup through browser, here the property will, all this property will added. Okay. And the portal.ext file is the server file. See how how you will get the server file, this portal.ext file. So go here, expand the portal, expand the server. See here portal.ext properties then. So I already opened that one. So if you want to change the DB, if, remember the thing, remember uh, the point. These four, four properties required. Okay, this four JDBC properties required. And if you want to change a DB through property file, so you, you have to do, you can do two things. You have to change a DB here. Okay. That's the one thing. Otherwise, you can remove this four D, four D, JDB related property from here and you have to keep in portal.ext property file. Okay. So anything you can do. So I will go for the second approach. I will just cut these things and I will save this file. Okay. And I will paste the properties here. Okay. Let me arrange these properties. Make sure you have to remove this property. Otherwise, you have to change the DB name in portal hyphen setup dot user property file. If you not change here and if you just to keep the properties here and if you change the DB name, it is not going to work out. Okay. Make sure that may not be available here. If that will be available, available here, just change the DB here. You need not to put this thing in property portal.ext file. Okay. So let's, I'm not using this particular DB. Let me create new DB. Okay. So I will take the test training. Okay. Any name. Because we are not going to use this test training. Anyhow, I will, after this setup, I will change to my default setup. We will use that one. Okay. So choose the, choose the care set UTF-8. Your collection will be general CI. Okay. Click on apply, apply and finish. Okay. So just copy this name and uh, instead of training, just to Put test training. Okay. Save it and make sure this file also save. Close it. Okay. Otherwise, and if you reopen, you can see that file don't have any JDBC related property. And if you open portal.txt file, okay, see the JDBC property here. And if you have that property in here in setup file, just to remove that, otherwise, change here. Okay. You can do two things, whatever you can like, you can go through that. Just to simply start a server and make sure it will take time because it will going to write the all the DB in our new database. Okay. So see now we get the server startup message here and our server is on started mode 
So go to your D, uh, MySQL. Okay, close this one. So see, tables are coming here. Now. Okay, so make sure the two things. There will be a nothing. Sorry. The two thing is you go to location. What you have to make sure in bundle in quoted set of file that JDBC related property will be not there. If there, just to give the pro a right uh, DB name oh, which you are going to change. And like initially it will not that if you not go through the uh, browser setup. Okay. If you go through the browser setup, then only the JDBC property will come here. Okay. If you not go through the browser setup, you can directly write this uh, this JDBC property in your portal.ht property file in your Eclipse directly. Okay. I will keep this for property in our description. You can collect from there. Okay. So if you not, not go for the browser setup, browser configuration, directly you can go through the like that. And at that time, you need not to go portal dot setup and wizard. Okay. Because at that time, that property, the JDBC related property will be not there. Okay. So, so this is all for that day. Stay connected with us. If you have any, any, uh, any uh, doubt, just put a comment below. I will clear there and subscribe to my channel and stay connected to get, get the more content. Okay. Thank you. Bye guys.